Welcome back to another episode of Sound Pals Go to the Movies. Today, I'll be reviewing the movie Meg 2, The Trench. So just a fair warning, there's going to be spoilers up ahead, so you've been warned. A research team encounters multiple threats while exploring the deeps of the ocean, including a malevolent mining operation. So let's begin with my first pro. I guess this movie will make young kids know the name Megalodon, and even might get them interested in the ocean and what lives beneath the ocean. So I guess, score one for science? Mind you, kids will gravitate to anything that is cool or action-packed in films. As for adults, there are some that will go to the theaters for the same reason. Those who want to turn off their logical brain and just see cool shit on the big screen. That includes explosions, action, sharks. Thus why the movie is rated PG-13 to get both groups into the movie theaters to maximize their target audience. So now let's move on to the cons. Oh man, there are so many. Where should I begin? First, let's start off with, I knew that the first movie was based on a novel, but then my friend told me that the novel stretches into seven books. So I guess Jonah, played by Jason is not dying anytime soon. I guess he took a page from the Fast and the Furious franchise, but here, instead of saying family like Dawn, he will just keep saying Megalodon. I mean, I can put up with at least three mech movies, not like I will go see the third one, but still, they can make their own little trilogy if they promise to stop there, and I'm okay with that. Next con, I believe this film is again one of those action star of the moments films that gets made because investors, like the big companies from China who want to see a certain actor in the films, case in point, like The Rock back in the film Skyscraper. No story, just a far-fetched action scene and a plot just to get people into the theater. And in that movie, at the end of the day, the hero saves the day. Same in this film, Jason is the hero that can't die, but can do really cool things. And in the first one, kill a giant shark. And in part two, it's actually three sharks, a kraken, and a small dinosaur fleet that's running around on land that reminded you of Jurassic Park. And on to my next con. It's just full of similar scenes that seem to play homage to other films, but in reality, it's just being done to get the same effect as the member berries. For example, when Jonas is running on the wooden pier and the shark is right behind him eating the whole pier, then Jonas falls and the pier lifts for him to slip towards the shark's open mouth. It's just like Jaws in the scene where Quint is in the same predicament and he gets eaten by the shark. Oh, and let's not forget the part where Jonas raises the helicopter propeller and starts smacking it on the water to get the shark's attention. Again, just like Jaws, when Brody smacks the oar on the cable line then calls to the shark to open wide. You get the idea now. I can't really call this an homage. It's just a ploy to get you to remember those feelings about the other films and try to say, hey, it's in this film too? I guess I should feel the same way. The next con is the movie was a Frankenstein of rejected ideas and some generic plots all put together. I felt that the first part of the movie was similar to Underwater from 2020, where they had to walk on the bottom of the ocean from Facility 1 to Facility 2. So there goes about half of the movie. Then the final battle seemed like it wanted to do something similar to the sci-fi channels Sharknado and the other shark films they made. You have megalodons, small dinosaurs that walk on land, and then you have the octopus or kraken in the film, but they don't use them as you think they should. So at one point I was thinking, okay, I can see probably the twist coming. Maybe the megalodons are going towards land and Jonas and his team are thinking, oh, they're going after the humans and there's going to be a feeding frenzy. And here is where the plot from Godzilla comes into play. The megs are actually going after the kraken, its natural enemy. Then Jonas teams up with the megalodons to help kill the kraken. And then after that is the final showdown. Jonas versus the Megs. But here, the Meg with the tracker that was held in captivity stops the others and tells them to back off and return into the trench as the trench closes. Roll credits. But no, it was like a giant car crash in the ocean with different scripts coming all together and fighting for screen time. And nothing made sense. Next con. Okay, I promise this is the last con I will list, but trust me, there's more that I left out. So for this con, I'm just going to say the length of the film. Coming in shy of two hours, there is so many scenes that could have been taken out or shortened by a simple dialogue between two characters to get the point across and save some spare time and use that time maybe to elaborate other things that were never explained. Like for example, how did we go from the last ending of the first film to having a Megan captivity like if it was a SeaWorld attraction or a Jurassic Park T-Rex ripoff? So my grade for this movie is going to be a 3 out of 10. I don't know, but I feel that a 3 is still kind of high. I feel this one deserves a lower grade, but if I do go see by any weird chance the third part, then I'm not allowed to go any lower than a lower grade of a 1. So I guess a 3 will do but yeah this film compared to Sharknado or any of the other sci-fi channel shark movies I would definitely pick those movies over this one since I know that those films were made knowing that people would tune in to just rip on those movies and make fun of them while this one I feel they thought if we try then it may be a decent movie and at the end we can say hey we hardly tried so that does it for this review of Meg 2 The Trench please join us next time where we're going to review Strays there you go Red I'm doing good tell the gnome you're his daddy hey gnome I'm your father it's good to fight.
finally me, Richie. even under these strange circumstances. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find our social media links below. And like always, keep watching movies.